Okay, so here I've been asked to answer this question, um, which is from one of my presentations. And it's um, a question where we have to find the missing letters. We know two matrices are multiplied by each other to give us this answer. And we got to find the values of P, Q, R and S. And there's one method which um, I showed in my presentation of how to use um, simultaneous equations to solve this, like where you set up basically two sets of simultaneous equations, 3P P plus 6Q equals 24, and P plus 4Q equals 14, and you do the same for R and S, 3R plus 6S is equal to 3, and R plus 4S is equal to 1. Okay, and then you solve those pairs of simultaneous equations. There's also another way using um, some sort of matrix algebra, and I'll show you what that way is. What I'm going to do first to make it a bit clearer, I'm going to say let's call matrix A our PQRS. PQRS is our matrix matrix A. PQRS. And let's call matrix B 3, 1, 6, 4. And let's call matrix C 24, 14, 3, and 1. Now, so what we have here, we have matrix A times matrix B is equal to matrix C. And we want to find this matrix here, which is matrix A. Okay, so we want to find what A is. Okay, we know what B and C are. Now, the matrix algebra way to do this is, is using the fact that a matrix times its inverse will give us 1. Okay, a matrix times its inverse will always give us 1. So if I take the matrix B and multiply by its inverse, it will give us 1. Basically, it will give us a unit matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 1, which acts like the number 1. Okay, so A times B times the inverse of B, okay, that will leave us with just A. From this side, you'll just be left with A, because B times the inverse of B gives you 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, and... A times any matrix times 1, 0, 0, 1 will give you the same thing. It's like multiplying by 1. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply this side by the inverse of B. But the order in which you multiply is important. If I multiply B by the inverse of B, okay, so I've multiplied the inverse of B at the end of this, I must also multiply the, the inverse of B at the end of this side as well. The order in which you multiply is important when it comes to matrices okay so for example the inverse of b times c won't give me the same answer as c times the inverse of b so if i multiplied on this side the inverse of b at the end so i've done a times b times the inverse of b which i have to do i can't do the inverse of b times a and then times b because i'll have to do the inverse of b times a um, first in that order the order matters Okay, so that's why I've put it at the end, because B times the inverse of B will give me the unit matrix, which is 1. And then, because I've multiplied the inverse of B at the end here, I must also multiply it at the end there. So I'm going to do C times the inverse of B. So A is equal to C times the inverse of B. So I need to find what the inverse of B is before I can proceed. So the inverse of B is equal to 1 over the determinant. Now, the determinant of this matrix is 3 times 4, 12 minus 1 times 6, 6, 12 minus 6, which is 6. So you write 1 over the determinant, and then you swap the leading diagonal, so that becomes a 4 here and a 3 there. And these two stay where they are, but they change their sign. Okay, so if you write this out as in fractions, because I've got to multiply, 1 6 times 4 is 2 thirds. 1 6 times minus 1 is minus 1 6. And 1 6 times minus 6 is minus 1. And 1 6 times 3 is a half. So now I've got to do matrix C times inverse of B. So I take 24 and 14 and 3 and 1 and I multiply in this order with the inverse of B. So I've got to take this and multiply it by the inverse of B which I just found as 2 thirds and minus 1 sixth and minus 1 and a half. Okay, and that should give us our matrix A. That's matrix A will give us this. Okay, so you've got 24 times 2 thirds. 
So 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So it's 16 minus 14. Remember, it's row times column. So this times this plus that times that. So 24 times 2 thirds is 16 uh, minus 14. I'll just write that as 16 minus 14 and simplify the end. And I've got 3 times 2 thirds. Well, the 3 cancel. That leaves you with 2. 2 plus minus 1. 2 minus, that's 3 times, yep, that's... The threes cancel two minus one, which is going to be one. Okay, then I'm going to have 24 times minus one sixth, which is minus four, minus four and plus 14 times a half, which is seven. So you've got minus four plus seven. And then you're going to have three times minus one sixth, which is minus a half. And one times a half, which is plus a half. So that's going to give us zero there. So our answer is going to be 16 minus four, which is two. Minus 4 plus 7, which is 3, 1, and 0. So now we can say that P, we can, we can say P is equal to 2, and Q is equal to 3. So I can say now P is PQRS, so P, let me just make some space. So you've got P equals 3, Q equals, sorry, PQRS. So P is equal to 2, Q is equal to 3, um, R is equal to 1, and S is equal to 0. We've got them in the right order, P, Q, R, S? Yes. So there we have our answers to this question. Okay? So the important thing here is you have to multiply C by the inverse of B in this order. Okay? All right? If the question was, for example, if the question was B times A equals C, then what I would do is I would multiply the inverse of B at the beginning, okay, and that would make this first part 1001, and that times A will give you just A, but then I'd have to multiply the inverse of B at the beginning here, okay, that's if it was this way. Remember, the order matters in multiplication, all right, and that will leave you with A equals, okay, that's if it was the other way around, okay? But because it's A, B equals C, that's why I've multiplied the B at, inverse B at the end, so it's next to the B. It has to be next to the B, either before it or after it. It can't be anything between it and the B, okay? Then, because the order matters in matrix multiplication. I hope that was clear.